what's up you guys, The Curious Owl here and welcome back to Top 5 Wednesday. So if you aren't familiar with what Top 5 Wednesday is, it is a Goodreads group started over by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey and it is a group on Goodreads where basically every week there are different prompts or challenges for you to complete and you pick 5 books that fit those prompts or challenges the best for you. So this week we are focusing on books that you read before you joined Goodreads or BookTube or pretty much any kind of reading community. And there are five books that I easily picked off the top of my head because I knew for one that I had read them before I even started my YouTube channel and they were my top five books that I have ever read or top five series that I have read. So without further ado, let's get into them. And number five is the Immortals series by Alison Noel. And if you're not familiar with what the Immortals series is, it is surrounded around a young girl named Ever who develops psychic abilities after being in a car accident that ends up killing her entire family. She is now able to read the auras of any individual that she sees and when she touches them, she is able to learn all kinds of things about them and it is very scary for her. But then she meets a young boy named Damon who she has this very strange connection with and finds out through him that she is what is called an immortal or someone who has died and has been able to come back to life and has these psychic abilities and through him she finds out all about her past lives and things about herself that connect her to him and several other people and finds out a lot of different things about herself and things that she may have never known if Damon had not arrived. And the rest of the series really just shows their relationship blossoming and her finding out more and more about being an immortal and what it means to be immortal and learning how to harness her powers for the greater good, really. And it's just a really wonderful series because I love the character of Ever and how she's so meek in the very beginning and then more and more throughout the series, she really starts to open herself up and starts to stand up for herself a lot because there are so many obstacles that she has to face and it makes it such a great character progression in my eyes and it's honestly one of the first YA kind of low fantasy stories that I really got into when I was in high school and middle school and I just really enjoyed it and I love the way that Allison Noel writes more than anything in the world. And number four is the Beautiful Creatures series by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. I talked about this a couple of different times in my other Top 5 Wednesday, and I really love this one because there's so many things that kind of go on between Ethan and Lena as the series goes on, and it's just a really interesting look at this kind of fantasy world that, you know, is kind of right under your nose. Like, Ethan would have never known that this was actually a part of his world and is on the same plane as his world if Lena had not come into his life and had not shown him all of these things that he had been missing that was hiding in plain sight essentially and I love stories like that I love stories that talk about things that are hiding in plain sight because now it makes me so much more aware of the things that are in my life right now and I, I always wonder you know is there something else kind of going on here that I may be missing like I'm always questioning things now just because of it and I just love the relationship that Ethan and Lena have over the course of the series even though a lot of times it's very strained and things really go awry a lot of the time especially for Lena now Unfortunately, I don't really have the book for number three, but I have something else that I think you guys may be familiar with. If you guys didn't really know, I have a tattoo on my left arm that is written in Elvish, which if you're familiar with where Elvish is from, it is from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings. And the Lord of the Rings series is number three on my list because I read this series in high school for the first time after having watched the movies a couple of times as a kid, not really understanding what was going on. But this series means so much to me to the point where I actually got a bookish tattoo for it. The word in Elvish is courage, or at least what I think would be courage at least because I kind of just found something online that I thought seemed fairly close to what I would imagine courage to look like. The reason I got the tattoo itself is because the word courage means so much to me because it is a huge theme of the entire series of The Lord of the Rings. It is such a big piece of it because there are so many things that happen in it that I would not be able to do. I would not be able to be like Frodo and just all of a sudden go off to the, go off to Isengard and climb up Mount Doom to be able to throw this ring into a fire and destroy this all-powerful wizard. There is no way I'd be able to do that. I'd be too freaking scared. But after reading this series, I felt such a desire to stop fearing everything because I am so afraid of doing a lot of things in my life because 
of any kind of repercussions that may happen because of them. But after reading this series and having grown up a lot since reading that series, I have found that it is better to, you know, do things with a full heart and and just do things fearlessly than to remain in fear and always wonder what would have happened if I did do it. So part of the reason I got this tattoo is to remind myself that I need to stop being afraid of everything and actually take chances sometimes when it is needed and when there is an opportunity for me to take a good chance on something. Number two is really the first book in the series because I haven't read the rest of them, but it is The Merciless by Daniel Vega. I love this book so much. Now, I am so scared to watch any horror movies. Like, I will never watch Annabelle. I will never watch Sinister or, you know, The Conjuring or any of those movies because I'm such a big Brady Cat, but I loved The Merciless so much. I cannot wait to read The Merciless 2 and The Merciless 3 when I get a chance because this book was so freaking crazy. Now, if you haven't read The Merciless, it basically follows a young girl who moves into a town and befriends a group of girls at the school who are very popular. They really seem to like her, but they tell her about this girl that is very gothic, very dark, and they believe that she is possessed by a demon. So they get the bright idea to try and hold her an exorcism to remove this demon from this girl. And then all hell breaks loose, literally. And just all the suspense and the gore and the scare factor that was incorporated in this novel was so freaking amazing. And finally, if you've watched my last few Top 5 Wednesdays, this may not be a shock, but number one is the Morganville Vampire series by Rachel Kane. I have talked about this series so much in the last few weeks. Honestly, it's been probably my most talked about book or series in August. But I just love this series so much. It was one of the first series I really got into that I actually ever finished. And it's the only vampire series that I really have had a love for that I will continue to love. And I will reread over and over and over again no matter how many times I've read it. It's just so freaking good because there's such a good balance between romance and action and suspense and all these different things that happen are so well thought out and the plot continues to get better and better as the series goes on for me and the ending of the series was so wonderful. I was so happy with how the way it with how it ended. But I was still sad because it ended, but I was just so proud of how Rachel Kane grew with the series as a writer and as an individual, and I just, I can't express my thoughts enough about this book. It is so good, and it's such a great way for someone who is getting into YA fantasy, YA supernatural fiction to get involved with it, because this has the best, I believe, adaptation of how vampires would be in any YA novel I have seen. But there you guys go, that is enough gushing from me about my favorite books, but those are my top five books or series that I have read before starting my booktube channel. I love these books so much for very different reasons, but they all have such a huge place in my heart no matter what, and I just can't wait for you guys to be able to read these if you can. Let me know down in the comments below if you've read any of these books or series, and let me know what your thoughts are about them. Also, let me know if you have any bookish tattoos as well because I love mine so much. I'm so happy that I got this. I just, it's one of my favorite things in the world next to my Doctor Who tattoo that I have on my other arm and I don't know. I just love seeing people rant and rave and have such a love for reading and books and so I just wanted to share some of the things that really got me into reading, especially in my high school year. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to look down in my blog. I will leave a link in the description for you guys because although I feel like I do a pretty good job of talking about these books in my videos, I feel like I ramble a lot and say the same thing over and over again. So my blog posts have a much more condensed, more well thought out idea of my thoughts on these books. So make sure to go check that out if you haven't already. Also, if you haven't already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below and subscribe to become an owlette in our flock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye guys!